Hello and welcome to FlipClockFans.com. Uh, this is the video for reassembly of the six RC6025, the Panasonic uh, flip clock, also known as the Groundhog Day clock. In a previous video, we took it apart. Now we're going to put it back together. I've taken my screws and I've uh, sorted them out. These are my five long cabinet screws. Uh, these are two screws. They have a little bit of a um, a lip around them. Looks like a washer, built-in washer, like. Uh, that's for the transformer. The ones with a little wider uh, um, lip around them, that's for your circuit board. Those can, they're actually interchangeable. The service manuals will tell you that's a red screw. Uh, they've just colored it red. Most of the older ones, aren't, you can't tell that they're red anymore. But these are actually, actually red. Um, there are uh, two screws to put the clock back in, the clock, flip clock mechanism. And then there are three screws and their washers to put the speaker back in. So I'm, I've got them laid out to where I can get to them more easily, hopefully. Okay, so we're gonna take the uh, radio dial and we're gonna replace the glass face. Um, there's the bottom. The, there's three tabs on the bottom, so I know it goes in there and you can see the holes there. The uh, point here is to take your time, gently rock things in place. If they don't go into place right away, back it out and start over unless you're just not in, you don't care if you break a tab um, and I have broken my shared boom boom just like that okay so that's in we'll set that aside uh, we're gonna uh, in, a, in the previous video I did talk about taking this off I've actually put it back on already it, it there's two tabs that go on the top just gently put those on top and, and gently push in so that's that and that's ready my base is here uh, they've this is a black paint that they've painted on there. I don't know what the properties are. I believe its primary purpose is when the light is lit to stop a lot of glow down here because that will glow. Yeah, I don't know if it has any heat shielding properties, uh, but it definitely does stop the glow on the bottom of the clock, which you'd get if that wasn't there. Okay, so that's the front. I know because of that stuff and just because everything's open here. So there's my front. I'm gonna take my, um, my piece here and it just slides right down over top uh, just like that and it's and you'll just find its home it'll seat itself fairly well there's no screws to attach that it's held into place um, well probably the next thing to do is to get your clock in place uh, all this other stuff's gonna just tag along it's like a kid brother it's coming along with you but uh, this has got to kind of go uh, in at an angle uh, you're just going to have to fiddle with it a little bit to get it in to seat it so that it seats. Sometimes it drops right in there. It drops into place. I don't know if you could see how it did that. Now, to actually get it to seat properly, what I'm going to do is, is go ahead and hold this with my hand as I turn over. And it's probably a good idea to go ahead and get the screws in now. It'll just kind of keep things in place. So I'll get my two uh, clock motor screws. Uh, you'll know pretty quick if you've got your clock seated properly because it'll take the screws right away as this one does and we'll go in here okay and what I felt as I was holding that in place is that it actually seated really well I could feel it take the seat okay now to set make sure that your clock is tuner is set. I, I take it all the way over to the left. Let's see if I recall how to do this correctly. This here is your tuner for the radio. I'm going to turn that counterclockwise all the way. So if I recall correctly, that's going to put everything in place. Now seating this is a little bit of a trick. If you take your time and again look for what you're doing, it, it should fall into place fairly quickly. That big hole there goes over top of this white post. So there again it's cooperating for me do not feel bad if it doesn't go in that easily for you I don't know why everything's going so good for me today now I'm gonna go ahead and hold that down I'm holding this down with my fingers the circuit board I'm trying not to push any of the cans down or any of the transformers or this uh, coils or and all that stuff in there so that 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 works okay so before it moves on me because it will I'm going to put the two red screws, again yours may not be red, back in place. Now I'll tell you, sometimes what I'll do is I'll, I call it fine tuning the radio. Um, 
I may go ahead and find a radio station on there and make sure that it comes in about where it should. Uh, what I mean is, if say you've got, a, a, I don't know, 100.5, and you know that your radio station should be, you'd like it to play about right there. Well, you'd want to set the dial there, tune in your radio by hand. Uh, it means you have to have it plugged in. That's not, be careful if you do that. Uh, but generally, I don't do that anymore. It, it's not that necessary. And it works. This radio actually plays very well. There's another video out that shows the play of it. I'm finding that most people aren't using this for their listening pleasure. They just like to have the clock anyway. But if you're going to have a good clock, you might as well have one that plays well. And this one does play well. So everything's seated. we got a transformer. Uh, I kind of look at this. I try to aim those two. They're going to go down in there. So I make sure that none of the wires are getting bound up. And it's pretty simple. You're just going to uh, place this over top of the screw holes and screw it in. Again, sorry for the boring uh, nature of this, but I decided to not cut the video and just to go with it, just so that you get an idea of how long it actually takes. Okay, this one's going to be a trick. Okay. Alright, I thought I was going to have to hunt around for that. So this, this again, I'll get, uh, those those will just pop right down in there. I'm going to clear my speaker and get it out of the way. Uh, the two connectors go in here. Uh, there is a little slot for the wires. You can use that if you want. It's to hold the wires in place, a little wedge thing. Uh, just as long as they're out of the way, it doesn't hurt anything. A simple knot is what they've done to secure this cord, and it just catches in there. Make sure that knot fits down in there. It's just a simple knot, but it works fine. Okay, so everything's in place now. We're going to get our radio, uh, our speaker back. So you just take the case, and you figure it's got to go this way, so I just flip it over. That's the way it's got to go. All right. You should have a piece of felt. That should have stayed in place. We didn't take that off last time. Uh, that... That just, uh, I believe that felt helps hold the, uh, the, the clock in place. It's just a way to kind of hold things down and steady. It's actually not even necessary, but I like it, things to be the way they were built. Uh, your speaker, uh, take your time with seating that. Don't torque your screws down too hard. If you put things back together and it sounds real squirrely, uh, you want to readjust your screws. I've seen it where it was torqued down oddly and the sound wasn't as good so I just try to lightly see I'm not torquing that down real hard it's not going anywhere and uh, I've had a little trouble with one of my screws just to show you and it's there's nothing there's no problem here I'm just having a hard time dealing with the camera in my face okay all right so there we are this simply turns over uh, sometimes I'll adjust the wires if they seem to be in the way uh, as far as seating it down just to, again take your time uh, sometimes there's a little resistance that's generally the wires and stuff moving out of your way there shouldn't be a lot of resistance it should go down pretty well if it doesn't, then just take it off and look again. Uh, I have done sometimes where I would have I was testing the radio or testing the volume before I got everything back together, and I actually left the knob on there, and I struggled for a while before I figured that out. And one thing, if you've disassembled this, sometimes what will happen, and I'm going to take this off again, is there's a little piece of felt right here. It's a felt circle. So if you find, well, what is that to? You find that laying around. That's supposed to go over top of your AM FM switch. It's sort of like a dust guard, but what it does more than anything is it just makes it look better in that hole when you look down in there. Uh, that's one that gets lost um, often and again it makes it it just makes it look better. Okay, you're just gonna take the whole thing, hold it, turn it over. We're gonna go ahead, we've previously put in the screws for the the, the clock motor which was important because you wanted to make it seat make sure it was seated properly. The way you know it did seat properly is that little post, if you can see that, uh, where the that turns the clock uh, flip numbers, should be centered 
and if it's centered then you know you did it right okay so you're I take my five screws and I'll just go ahead and and drop them in the hole all the way down please don't over torque these if you if you over torque these going in uh, you will break the plastic there's really no good fix for that you can you can try some modeling uh, plastics and stuff like that but you've you've messed it up okay once it starts to get a little tight I stop uh, I don't I don't try to torque it down this is supposed to be uh, able to set the torque so that you don't but I don't even let it get to that point I, if I feel it start you can feel the gradual buildup of pressure it does not need to be torqued down it just needs to hold the clock in place it helps if you engage the uh, screw there I think I did the I wasn't counting okay so there it is I'm gonna double check make sure everything's lined up correctly and it is it's nice and steady flip back over we just now it's a matter of replacing our knobs we'll go ahead and replace the um, this is for the alarm control uh, it, it, there's no exact one way it has to go on I'll just seat it gently and I'll start pushing in just like that you turn counterclockwise and it should be adjusting my alarm and it is uh, the this one's a little more tricky it is set um, it has a flat head aside on it so we want to go in here and I'm gently turning till it seats and then I push in okay now we're gonna go ahead and replace the volume knob it, it does have a flat head and you'll find the spot for the click this is the radio controller knob it has a flat space uh, you can look for that line it up with the flat space there or just stick it on there it'll find its home uh, that's a sleep button and then this will be the radio control knob there is no one place it goes on it's springed uh, attached by spring wire like there it is we are complete no worse for the wear everything's in place and it looks good well thanks for your uh, for watching and come visit us at flipclockfans.com.